Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. Moving forward, these grocery hauls are going to look very, very different. I'll fill you guys in. If you missed my life update video, I'll link it down below for you, but I'll give you a quick rundown before we jump into the haul. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I'd love to have you here. I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five days a week. So make sure your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group, definitely, definitely come on over and join us there, are all down in that description box. So let's go ahead and jump into this very different grocery haul. So if you happen to miss my life update video, I just wanna give you a quick rundown of kind of what's going on and what you're going to be seeing in the next couple of weeks when it comes to my grocery hauls. So in a nutshell, we are moving in just a couple of weeks from Washington State to Arizona State. So we are moving out of state. So we are in a use it up, shop your fridge, pantry, freezer, so that we can use up as much of the food that we have on hand before we have to pack it, figure out how to keep it cold and frozen all the way to Arizona. So what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of weeks until we actually load up the truck to move is I'm going to be doing just that. I'm going to be really focusing on my pantry, what's in my refrigerator, what's in my freezer. And in fact, this last week I went to a local meat store because my mom had given us a $200 gift certificate to this meat store and it's not in Arizona. So I had to go use it up. So I went and I purchased lots and lots of meat, which we have since frozen. We'll use up as much as I can. And then of course we'll haul the rest of it with us to Arizona. But I lucked out because they had a lot of pre-made things, chicken, shrimp, meatballs. So I grabbed a whole bunch of that. It was already in their freezer section, flash frozen. So it'll be really simple for the next couple of weeks for dinners. I also have some canned goods, some jarred goods, just some random things in my pantry that I'd like to use up. I'm going to basically put together meals with what I have on hand and all I will be buying at the grocery store is whatever I need to, number one, create the meals, and number two, for snacks and drinks and things week to week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my fridge, my freezer, and my pantry, and I'll give you an update each week so you can kind of see what I've used up, what's still there. I'm going to show you exactly what meals I'm putting together. This coming up Monday will be my last meal prep for a couple of weeks until I get settled into my new home because again, use it up. I do have some meal prep I have some recipes planned for meal prep and I pretty much have most of the things on hand. So moving forward, it will be just eating what's on hand versus meal prep. Make sure you tune into Monday's meal prep because it's going to be the last one for a while. So let me go ahead, flip you around, show you my fridge, freezer, and pantry. I'll show you my grocery haul for the week, what I'm planning to do for meals. I'm actually going to show you exactly what's going into the meal. Pull the food out, show it to you for each day. So that'll give you a visual point as well for what we're doing. I apologize for the lighting. It ends up being pretty yellowed, but you can see that I've actually cleaned out a lot of my pantry. I have a lot of jars and cute kind of pantry organization things that I've already packed up. So what I did is I just pulled the food out that was in those bins so that we can visually see what we have on hand. And my goal is to use up a lot of what you see here in my pantry. I have some protein powders and I do protein shakes pretty regularly, so I kept those out. I have some baking items that I'll need for this week's meal prep. These are kind of, these are my snacks, the things that I gravitate towards. And then I have a lot of jarred things on these two shelves here that were in baskets. I probably won't use these up, but these are brand new items that will just get packed up. We have some cereal, again, just some jarred things. Again, they'll pro they will probably get packed up as well. And then we have some more snacky things. I have pasta and rice that I want to use up. I have a pack of Idahoan potatoes, a box of rice aroni. Those are all things I can definitely use up. Lots of snacks. I did leave a lot of snacks out because so we can pack them for our drive. We do have about a three day drive. More snacks down here. This is Troy's little snack 
carousel. So he will work on that over the next couple of weeks. Lots of canned goods. As many of these as I can use up, the better. And then of course, Troy's crackers and some tuna fish that we're hoping to eat up as well. Now our fridge we cleaned out. We actually have a second fridge in our home that we cleaned out. It used to house all of our drinks. So this looks really full, but there's a lot of drinks in here. I did pull some frozen bread and some Trader Joe's breadsticks out of the freezer. Troy said if I cooked those up, he would eat them. We have some leftovers that we need to eat up. I made tacos for dinner last night, so we'll work on those. My produce is pretty minimal because I am not going to be buying any produce. Again, my goal is to try to use all of this up. And we have lots of cheese and meat. So lots of like snacky things. Troy, as you know, loves his meat, cheese, and crackers. So we'll be able to go through all of this. Condiments most likely will end up being packed, but we'll see what we can go through. We also organized our freezer because of selling the other fridge that we have, we had to shove everything in one freezer. So this top drawer is all of the food that we're going to be eating up. So you guys will see a lot of this food shown in the meals plan for the next couple of weeks. Some popsicles and frozen berries. So our goal is to to completely empty this drawer. And then this drawer is all of the frozen meat that was in our other freezer. These pre-made items are the ones I picked up at the butcher. We are going to use all of those up and as much other meat as possible. So here's my tiny little grocery haul. As soon as I show you what I picked up, I will show you exactly what I'm putting together for my meals. I shopped my fridge, pantry, and freezer this morning and came up with some Really exciting meals for this next week. So here's what I picked up for groceries. A case of Diet Coke for Troy, per the usual. I have some clients closing on a house here this next week, so I grabbed a few little goodies for them. I always buy my clients a gift when we close on their house. This vanilla and caramel spice candle smells so good, and I love the wood lid. I think it's super pretty. I also got them these Pioneer Woman measuring spoons. I thought these were so cute she likes floral she's mentioned that that's a big part of her home decor so i thought that these would be a really nice housewarming gift and then i saw this super cute sign it has a metal rim and that same kind of wood colored background and it says home sweet home so i'm going to put those three items in a little gift bag for them paper plates because i will be packing up all of our dishes this week i needed some egg whites for my breakfast meal prep so i went ahead and picked up a big container of egg whites packing tape we are almost out so i decided to go ahead and grab the gun i think this will just make it a lot easier than using just the roll of tape and then i grabbed a backup roll of tape as well a couple of two good yogurts for me we are completely out of yogurt and this this is one of my favorite snacks because it has a lot of protein in it and this is going to pair very nicely with what I'm making as a snack and meal prep. These are delicious. You can see I opened them up. These are the Zero Sugar Reese's. I just wanted to try these. I cannot tell a difference between these and the regular Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I only ate one of them but the serving is a package for 220 calories. It feels like there's maybe five or six in there but I only had one and it was so good. Highly recommend. Plastic fork because I'll be packing up all of my silverware as well. Some Italian style ground turkey. This is for my breakfast meal prep and then I also needed a bell pepper. So that's my grocery haul. Let me show you what's on the menu for dinners. So here's our dinner for one of the night. So I bought these frozen Italian meatballs at that butcher shop. So we're going to make spaghetti and meatballs. I have a jar of the Reyes marinara. This is such a great marinara. I do count this as zero points. And I have this leftover pasta. It's kind of a hodgepodge of penne and then I don't even know what this shape is, but that's going to be the pasta. And we're going to eat up a bag of our frozen organic broccoli. So here's another dinner. I have these wild caught gulf shrimp in my freezer. These look so good. I'm going to throw these on a sheet pan with some oil and some seasoning. We're going to have a bag of California style vegetables. And then I'm going to use up the Idahoan roasted garlic mashed potatoes. For another night, we're going to eat up these Gouda chicken smoked sausages with apple. These are really good. These are from Imperfect Foods. Don't forget Imperfect Foods is always down in the description box with $20 off your first box. You could really take your $20 and go because there is no minimum order and these sausages are delicious so I'm going to fry those up I have some mixed vegetables about a half of a bag left and then I actually have two bags of the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi so I'm going to cook those up as a side and there should be leftover sausage gnocchi and vegetables so it'll make a really good dinner and leftovers and the final dinner is going to be this pesto 
Fontina stuffed chicken breast. I also bought this at that butch at our local butcher with our gift card. This looks so good. I'm going to make the Trader Joe's pasta for Troy. I probably won't have any of this, but he really likes these frozen Trader Joe's meals. This is the last one that we have. So we'll definitely use that up and then we'll go through another bag of frozen broccoli. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. Just a reminder, this will be my last meal prep for a couple of weeks. For breakfast, I'm making egg muffins with turkey bacon. I have some turkey bacon in my freezer that I need to use up. Lunch is going to be Tex-Mex chicken and rice casserole. I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. And then I mentioned that yogurt is going to come in very handy for my snack, which is going to be some low carb granola. Super, super excited about that as well. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. I'm really excited to share these kind of put together hodgepodge meals with you so you can see that you don't have to spend a lot of money at the grocery store. You can simply shop your pantry, fridge, and freezer, and sometimes you can make meals and snacks for a week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on what you have on hand. And you can really save a lot of money on your grocery budget. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I would love to have you here. Don't forget to ring the bell because I upload five days a week. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.